We're looking at what your chances are of getting COVID-19 after one or two doses of a vaccine. Public Health Ontario has been tracking the numbers since first shots were administered back in mid-December and City News has obtained the encouraging data. We need to validate people's concerns about the vaccine hesitancy, and we need to be able to address them with the best scientific evidence available. It's known as a breakthrough case of COVID-19. It's when someone who's received two doses of the vaccine ends up with symptoms and a positive test result. Public Health Ontario is actively tracking how many of those people are still getting the virus, as well as how many are getting the virus after one shot and how many are getting it within the first 14 days of their first dose. It's exceptionally small number. From December 14th through mid-April, nearly 3,500,000 jabs were administered in Ontario. Of that total, just 0.06% ended up testing positive, either 14 days after their first and or second dose of the vaccine. People really want to know is that here, there is a percentage, but they want to know on the scale of that percentage, what are my chances of getting it? Many people walk out of vaccination centers like this one here at the Metro Toronto Convention Center feeling great, but also asking themselves, what is my chance of still getting the virus? Well, we've had so many numbers thrown at us over the last 16 months. Getting a grasp of the pandemic can feel daunting. So we're going to try and put things in perspective. Now, one way that I relate to things is through sports. Behind me is the Rogers Centre. It has a capacity of 53,506. If we had a packed house and everyone inside had received either their first or second dose and just 0.06% of them still got COVID, that would be just 32 people in the entire stadium. It actually signifies that the chance of you getting COVID-19 is exceptionally rare. And of the less than 1% of people experiencing COVID after getting their first or second shot, an even smaller percentage actually end up in hospital. Though that number does increase for those who get COVID within the first 14 days of receiving their first shot, and it drops off dramatically after the two-week period. Dr. Ahmed Fures Khalid is a health policy expert from McMaster University. He breaks down this graph from Public Health Ontario. We wanted to compare that the number of days between dose administration, so the moment they got their vaccine and the moment they developed symptoms. This map shows us that, you know, over time, the longer our body has the chance to build immunity after receiving our first dose of the vaccine, the lower our chance of getting COVID-19. As of this past December, a Statistics Canada poll found that 76.9% of Canadians say they were very willing to receive a COVID vaccine. This is a critical period that we're in. You know, the more people that are getting vaccinated, the sooner we are able to put the pandemic behind us and resume some kind of a normal life like we knew before the pandemic. Our public health experts remain adamant that everyone needs to follow safety guidelines after their first shot, reminding people to continue social distancing and wearing masks and just how important that second dose is for added protection.